Hello and welcome to my, vid my video. Today I'm going to do a quick, very basic tutorial for using Inkscape with the Glowforge. You, if you just bought a Glowforge or you're thinking about picking one up, well, basically if you've just bought a Glowforge, you may have had some issues when uploading your designs the first time. I know I did, and I still do every once in a while, but it's not very often anymore. And a lot of it is just learning the software. The Glowforge is very easy to use and very straightforward, but the software that you use along with it, sometimes it's a little confusing when you're just learning it. So I have like a little test drawn here and I'm gonna show you what happens if I just save this file like this and try to upload it to the Glowforge. I'm just going to show you what it would do. So I save the file and I go over to the Glowforge software. And I go back home here and I go to upload and I choose the file here. So it should be this big fat circle saying this is the test you think. And so you choose it and you look over here and it says it's being prepared, but then it says the text has or this design has text and the text has been removed. So you look here and what I have is a really thin ring, not the fat ring that I had before, and no text. And so when this happened to me the first few times, I'm like, what is going on? I saved it with text. Why is the text not going in? Well, the problem with that is it's not set to a path. So it's an easy fix. All you have to do is select select your text and you go up to path and object path. And that's all you have to do to get the text to show up. Now the reason why this circle here showed up as just a thin line instead of this fat line is because if you actually go up here to view, and this is something you might want to do sometimes before you upload your image, is view and display mode and go to outline. Notice how it goes to just a really thin line instead of the fat line. And that's because the object is also not a path again. The path is just this tiny little thin line, just the outline of it. So the way to fix that, let's go back to normal view and we'll select the box here and when we go up to path here and we can choose stroke to path because I have this is basically the reason this is a fat line here is I went over to stroke and I changed the stroke like this but until you make that stroke a path all you get is a thin line like that but the way to fix it is you just go to path stroke to path and that's it. So now you go up here and you go display mode, outline. Now you've got the full outline. So what this is going to do though, is it's going to cut when you upload it to the Glowforge, it's going to cut this circle here and it's going to cut this circle out here, or it could engrave it also if you told it to engrave. So if you take this now though, if we resave this file, you go save, and then we go back to the Glowforge software. See, this is what we had the first time we uploaded it. And now if we go to upload new artwork, we'll do the same one again, paste it in, and we'll see if we get any errors over here now. Nope, no errors. There's the text and there's the fat circle. Now, another thing though that you might notice is maybe you wanted to engrave the text and cut the circle. Over here, you can only choose one option for all of it. It's not separating it. So all this would do is just engrave this or cut it and it would cut every single letter. The way to separate that, so you can do one thing with one part and one with another, is if you go back to Inkscape again, and you change the color of the items. So let's make this circle here red. 
And with that simple change, if I go to save right now and go back to the Glowforge software, let's delete this. And if I upload this now, you're going to see that it's two separate things now, just from changing the color. Once it loads up, you'll see now you have the text separate from this. So we could tell this to cut, and it's going to cut both lines, you can see. So if you were wanting to do this like a coaster or something, you'd want to do it differently. Um, and if you wanted to do one line as one thing, one as another, you'd wanted to, if you wanted to cut this outside one and then score this, you'd want to do it as two separate circles instead of the way that we did it. But for this demonstration, this is just to show you how you can separate the things. And so now you can set the text for engrave and you can set this for cut. And then now it's two separate things as opposed to how it was the first time. Now something else you can do that I didn't realize when I first started using my Glowforge was you can change the order of that it does things in. So sometimes you'll upload this and you'll have the cut on the top and the engrave on the bottom. You don't want to cut in that order. You don't want to do it in that order because once it cuts, sometimes it kind of falls down a little bit or it shifts and you're going to mess up the alignment of your print. So you want to always have your engraves first and then have it cut afterwards so that you get the alignment perfect how you want it. And I think that's about it for the very, very basics of using Inkscape for your designs. Um, there are many things you're going to want to learn, need to learn about with the path, with the paths. And I could make another video explaining the different functions of the path tools if people need that. But I just wanted to show you guys the basics. But you're going to be using all of these different things all the time when you're designing stuff. It's not hard. It just takes a little bit of time to get used to. You don't need to be super knowledgeable of design software. It's pretty intuitive. It's pretty easy to figure out how to do it. Don't get overwhelmed with it. It's, it's really pretty simple. I know it can be stressful when you spend a ton of money on a machine and it's not doing quite what you want right out of the box. But it's really not hard to catch on. Just take a little bit of time. I spent a few days just working with Inkscape just to get it down. And now I've got it down pretty good to where I can usually get stuff to go the way I want it to. Another thing that's great to do if you're having trouble is go to the Glowforge community. If, right up here, go to community and people post stuff to help others out all the time. I use this all the time still. You go to the search up here and you type in, just kind of type in your problem that you're having. And there's probably someone else has had the same problem and tons of people are super helpful and they'll give you answers on how to fix your problem that you're having. So I hope that helped people out. I hope that uh, you can figure out what the problems are with your uploads by that. I know it was a very basic thing. So if you've been doing this for a while, I probably didn't help you at all. But this is for people who just got their machines and are having issues doing uploads from Inkscape especially. So thank you for watching my video. If it was helpful to you, please like and subscribe. I make uh, craft videos a lot of, from since I got my Glowforge about a month ago. I'm planning on doing a bunch of tutorials that have to do with Glowforge, tips and tricks, and things like that. Show off some of the things that I've made. And uh, if people have any questions, I will try to figure out the answers to them. Just put them in the comments below. And I'll try to get back to you with answers or make a video that shows you the answer to your question. But thanks again for watching. And have a good day.